Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. Before we get any further, I do want to give a big thank you to Model Ones for sponsoring today's video along with sending over this poly gel kit. In today's video, I am going to be unboxing, sharing everything included in this poly gel kit from Model Ones, and then I will also be doing a poly gel nail set. So I think that this is the biggest poly gel kit that I have ever tried. It literally includes 32 poly gels. That is so insane to me. When I opened this box up, I was amazed with everything that is included, plus you get the 32 poly gels. So on the back here, it does show the ingredients, the storage, the warning, contact us, all of that wonderful information that you can use when you get your poly gel kit to follow the instructions and all of that. On the front, we do see the model ones, and then it does give a little brief of some items that are included, but I will be unboxing this kit and showing everything that is included. Now, I do want to let you all know Model Ones is going to have a huge discount on Black Friday. So, starting 1124, running through 1127, this is one of those items that are going to have a very, very big discount and just it's going to be discounted a lot starting those days. So, keep that in mind. Um, I will leave it down below in the description box, the link to this specific kit. They also do have this same kit, but you can choose from a couple little varieties of poly gel colors. So maybe you don't love the colors in this kit. They do also have other kits, the same type of kit, but with different poly gel colors that you can choose from. I will also be leaving the link to the Model 1's Amazon store down below in the description box because not only is this kit going to be on sale for Black Friday, but they are also going to have a lot of other items on sale for Black Friday. Those dates will again run from 1124 to 1127. Of course, you can also shop on the Model 1's like website if you like doing that but then again you can also shop on Amazon. I personally prefer Amazon just because the shipping is a little quicker and I just like shopping on Amazon. It has become one of my favorite shopping platforms so it is always nice when you can just make multiple purchases of different things on Amazon. So I did pull everything out of the box just to take a quick glance at everything. Like I said, so many goodies in this poly gel kit. We did have the poly gel user manual, just some pictures and step-by-step -step on how to use the poly gel. We also have some dual forms, so we get two strips of different sized dual forms. And in today's video, I did end up using dual forms again. In my last poly gel video, I also used dual forms and I feel like I kind of am getting the hang of them a little bit more and starting to like them, even though in previous videos, I've talked about not really liking dual forms too much. I think they are kind of growing on me. The next item we had just some different colored rhinestones, just some sort of different variety to add on to your nails. We also have these French tip guides. These I probably don't ever or have never used, but they would really help if you do struggle with your French tips. The next item are some glitter sequins. The top row are different colored stars and the bottom row are some holographic butterflies. The next item is striping tape. This is another one of those items that I don't think I've ever used, but then again, everybody has their own personal preference. I feel like this type of item is kind of just thrown into these kits to make the kit bigger and give it a little bit more value to the kit. The next item are these dual form clips. I don't really like using these, but they are great. I mean, I feel like I've used them more doing the lazy girl or femi beauty method, but they are intended to use with your dual forms to get a clean underside. I also did show some nail forms, so you can either choose to use the nail forms or the dual forms. We also have some alcohol pads. These are perfect if you don't have any rubbing alcohol, that way you can wipe off the sticky layer. 
The next thing included is this nail rhinestone glue gel. This is perfect for adhering any of your um, like rhinestones or crystals. We have a hand file. I didn't like the hand file included in this kit. I think they should definitely change it just to something a little bit bigger, better quality. That one I just thought it was a little jinky and kind of on the smaller side. The next item we have the poly gel brush which is dual ended with the spatula on one end and the brush on the other end, very standard. This next item is a great cleanup brush. When doing nail art, it also is dual ended, so on the opposite side, it is a dotting tool. I really like these type of brushes, especially when it comes to cleaning up nail art. The next item included is a cuticle pusher and scraper tool. This is, of course, great for starting out your nail prep to remove your cuticle skin. And the next item we have are some nail cutters nail clippers so you can clip down your natural nail length. We also have this tool that can act as a cuticle pusher and it can also act as a cuticle cutter. We have a pair of tweezers. These are great for peeling up stickers or even placing down picking up your rhinestones or charms. The next item is two bottles of slip solution. Both of these bottles are 15 ml, so it is nice that they give you slip solution. If you run out of the slip solution, you can always use like 91% isopurple alcohol. The next item we have is the top and base coat. I really like the Model 1's top coat. That is something I will say. I feel it is a great glossy top coat. It also is a super nice like consistency. The base coat as well, it's great. I don't usually use a base coat because I use a peel off base, but that base is very important if you want your nails to last, of course. So the next item is this Sun Mini UV LED nail lamp. I've talked about this in other poly gel kits. I think it is nice when kits include these mini lamps, but personally, I just don't like curing my poly gel with these mini lamps. I feel that they are not powerful enough and I personally recommend and prefer using a larger full powered nail lamp. Now, of course, it is all up to you. If you use these nail lamps and they cure your poly gel fine and you don't notice anything, then so be it. Do it how you want to. But personally, I don't like using it. I just feel I do not get a full cure or I just have to cure longer to be able to get everything to fully cure. So I personally do like just using a full powered nail lamp. Now we're moving into the poly gels. Like I said in the beginning of this video, this kit does have some different like poly gel colors. So when you're looking on Amazon, you can pick out this specific colored of poly gel kit that I have here, or there are a few different options that you can choose from. Maybe another option, you like the colors more, or even because they're having such a huge discount for Black Friday, maybe you want to pick up all the kits and get tons of colors of poly gel. If you are a beginner, if you're a poly gel lover, or just starting out, this poly gel kit would be perfect for you. Honestly, out of all the poly gel kits I've tried, this one I would say is probably the most beginner friendly. Now, of course, you may need to still pick up some other items, even though it is kind of like an all-in-one kit and you can start doing your nails with the items included in the kit. You may still want to pick up like a full powered nail lamp or even a nail drill, but this kit here, because you get so many different poly gel colors, all of the tubes are also 15 ml, so a pretty standard size poly gel tube. They are all numbered and kind of like colored labeled. There are some glitters in here, some regular colors. There's also even a clear poly gel. So many different colors. I did swatch them off camera just because there are 32 of them and I didn't feel like doing that on camera and having that take up so much time. So off camera, I removed the seals on all of the poly gel tubes and swatched them out. That way you can see all of the colors kind of in person. I know it's through video, 
but I always like seeing the swatches on like a YouTube video or like so some sort of video versus like the actual listing just because I feel like it shows the actual color just a little bit more. But here are all of the colors. The first color I swatched is the clear poly gel. It's a little hard to see since it since it is clear, but we have 32 poly gel colors, which is absolutely insane. So many colors to choose from, but we're now gonna jump in and start doing some nails. So yes, when thinking of a nail set to do with these poly gels, it was very, very, very difficult. I had so many colors to choose from, I didn't know what to do. I did end up using some pinks and doing a pink winter holiday related nail set. Like I mentioned, I will also be using the dual forms. I have talked about not liking dual forms, but because I've been using them recently, I think I am getting the hang of them. Something I will say though, is when using dual forms, I feel like I don't get as clean of a look as if I'm doing the overlay method on half cover nail tips or if I'm doing the Femi Beauty slash Lazy Girl method. I feel like with dual forms, it is just a little messier and not as clean. Maybe the nails on the sides, it doesn't cover. Um, like the color kind of gets squished out a little too much where the color isn't as opaque as on the top of the nail, if that makes sense. I'm sure if you used dual forms before, you understand exactly what I'm saying. But I do still really like dual forms and I wanted to do a longer length today. In my last poly gel video where I used dual forms, I did do a shorter length, but I wanted to try doing a little bit longer today. So off camera, I did go ahead and apply my peel off base coat. Of course, if you want your nails to last, you will want to go in with some natural nail prep and applying the regular base coat that was included in the kit. And then I also sized out my dual forms. That is something I do struggle with. I feel like for this pinky here, I did choose the incorrect size. I feel like I definitely should have sized up just one more size to give a little bit more room. But either way, I feel like it still turned out fine. I just felt like it wasn't correctly placed on my nail because the dual form was just a very little bit too small. So when you are sizing out your dual forms, definitely take that into consideration. Really make sure the nail tips fit you and they're also going to have enough room to hold the poly gel inside the dual form. So really keep that in mind. Um, I know it can get a little tricky. That is one thing that I struggle with when sizing out my dual forms is really just knowing the size to go with. So of course, I'm also using a little nail stand here. You do not have to do this, but I just feel it is a little easier. I did show both poly gel colors that I will be using. I will be using a pink poly gel and also a glittered pink poly gel. For today's video, I wanted to, well, for today's nail set, um, I kind of wanted to experiment a little with the dual forms. So I'm going to be doing some ombres and also some encapsulated nails using the dual forms. And I was surprised with how everything turned out. For the pinky, I did end up doing an ombre starting with the glitter color. I did that at the tip of the nail. I faded that up to the cuticle area. I did about a 15 to 20 second cure on the glittered poly gel, and then I went right in with the pink colored poly gel. The pink I will not cure until I have it placed onto my natural nail because the pink poly gel is what is going to be adhering the nail to my natural nail. So do keep that in mind. You can definitely do ombres with poly gel but you do wanna make sure you do the tip color first and then whatever your nail bed color, you're going to be doing that last so it will adhere to your natural nail. So I did apply that to my natural nail. I cured that nail for 30 seconds. I did keep the dual form on just because I felt it was easier just to continue throughout the other nails and then I will be removing all the dual forms at once. 
For the next nail for my ring finger, this is going to be my encapsulated nail. I am going to be using the glittered poly gel, but I also wanted to encapsulate some snowflake sequins. So using the base coat, I placed three snowflake sequins into the nail, just curing it and pressing them down so I don't get any air pockets. I then did do about a 15 to 20 second flash cure just to make sure they were cured in place before going in with my poly gel. For my poly gel, I will just be applying it on top and using the glitter poly gel for the entire nail. For my brush and slip solution, for my slip, I am using rubbing alcohol just because that is what I prefer. If you do not have rubbing alcohol though, Slip Solution was included in this kit, and of course the poly gel brush was also included. I was honestly really amazed with today's, like this nail set, with kind of experimenting a little. I honestly did not know that you could do ombres or encapsulation using dual forms. I was pleasantly surprised with how everything worked out so nicely. I thought the encapsulated nails turned out very good. Also the ombre nails, they just turned out so amazing. I thought it wasn't going to work, but do keep that in mind. When using dual forms, you can do a lot more with them. I'm sure a lot of people already know that, but because I hated using dual forms, I didn't ever use them, so I didn't know you could do ombres or encapsulation. But honestly, I feel like now that I've played around with dual forms a little bit, I feel like they are a little bit more beginner friendly, even though when I first started poly gel, that's when I really did not like dual forms. So I feel like they definitely take some practice getting used to the consistency of poly gel, knowing how to mold the poly gel, move it around. Also knowing how much poly gel is needed. For the dual forms, it is basically the same method as the Lazy Girl slash Femi Beauty method. If you don't know what that method is, basically you are using a full cover gel nail tip, applying the poly gel inside the nail tip just like you would a dual form, and then placing it down on your natural nail, curing that, and then once you have it cured, you're not popping off the full cover nail tip. With dual forms, of course, you're doing the same thing, but once you have it cured, you will actually remove the dual form. So basically, with the Lazy Girl Femi Beauty method, it doesn't involve much filing. You also don't really need to worry too much about your nail shape because you're going to be using a full covered nail shape that you already want. So I do like both method methods. Honestly, if you're struggling with dual forms, go ahead and try the Femi Beauty Lazy Girl method. I think that one just may be a little bit easier with that method. You can, of course, also do um, like ombres, encapsulation, that sort of thing, just like you can here with the dual forms. So I do quickly want to talk about the consistency of this poly gel. I really like Model 1's poly gel. Now, I will say with most every brand of poly gel, the glitter poly gels or clear based poly gels, they will always be a little stickier than like a regular colored poly gel. So this pink glitter poly gel, it was just a little bit stickier. So I was needing to dip my brush in the slip solution just a little bit more than working with the regular pink color. But overall, no big deal whatsoever. I was still able to work with it just fine. I wasn't like completely struggling. I mean, you can see here, my brush isn't sticking to it very much. I'm just finding myself dipping into the um, slip solution just a little bit more when I am working with the glitter one. But honestly, overall, Model 1's poly gel, I think it's a great poly gel. Um, it is on the stiffer side, which I really like but it isn't like super thick where you can't move it around. I mean, you can see me here. This footage is in real time and I am having a really easy time working with it. And I feel like it really didn't take me long to do these nails at all, which of course I absolutely loved. So I did do another ombre for my index. Again, starting off with the tip color, fading that up the nail, curing for about 15 to 20 seconds, and then going in with my nail bed color, 
molding that to the dull form and then using that to cure it onto my natural nail. For my thumb, I'm doing another encapsulated nail, so using that base coat to cure down some snowflakes and then using the glittered poly gel as my poly gel color on the entire nail. And then once I am finished with this nail, I will be coming back and we will be removing the dual forms. <laughs> Here are how the nails are looking. I really liked the length. I was so excited to pop off these dual forms to see how the nails were going to look. So removing these dual forms, it is very satisfying. I noticed compared to my last nail set that I did with dual forms, keeping it a little shorter, it is a little easier to remove the dual forms, but it is still very satisfying to remove these. They come off so easily and just seeing the actual nail underneath, it just amazes me. But I used, could see me feel the encapsulated nail and because I used the layer of base coat, I didn't feel the sequins whatsoever. They were not sticking up, they were not poking out, they were absolutely perfect. So once I did have the dual forms removed, poly gel does have that sticky tacky layer. So I did use a lint-free wipe because I forgot about the alcohol pads included in the kit, but you can just use an alcohol pad to remove the sticky layer. And then I'm jumping right into my filing. So because I did keep a very clean nail shape when molding the poly gel into the dole form, I basically already had the square shape that I wanted. So I just went in with a hand file just to crisp up the shape, the sides of the nail, a little around the cuticle, and of course the free edge. I also did go in with my nail drill in a five in one drill bit just to go around the cuticle area to seal everything in and smooth it out just to make it a little bit more natural looking. Because the nails did have a shiny surface, I did want to go in with a buffer to buff over that surface. That way, when I apply the top coat, it will adhere properly. So to do this, I just went with a very light hand and buffed over the nails. Because I used a glitter poly gel and encapsulated glitters, I didn't want to buff super hard to dig into those glitters or the um, sequins, so I just went over very lightly. I didn't have any issues at all with that. And then once I was all finished buffing and filing, I did take a dust brush with a little bit of rubbing alcohol on it just to go over top of the nails to clean them up a little bit. And then I am going in with my top coat on all of the nails using that Model 1's top coat that was included in the kit. I applied that to all of the nails and cured for 30 seconds. Thank you. 
for this nail set because I did most of my designs with the like poly gel with like encapsulating and doing ombres. I decided that I wasn't going to do any nail art. I just wanted to add on some crystals. So I did use the dotting tool and also the rhinestone glue gel. And for the middle finger, I'm going to be doing a full bling nail using some pink rhinestones. And then for the two ombre nails, which is the index and pinky, I will be adding on some cuticle crystals to those nails. Once I do have the full bling nail complete, I'll cure that for 30 seconds and then I will do the other two nails adding on the cuticle crystals curing those for 30 seconds and then I was finished with the nail set. After my rhinestones were cured, I pulled out my cuticle oil. I applied that to my cuticles to nourish them and of course, like I always say, top off the nail set. And I really loved the finished look of these nails, even though I had the hardest time deciding what I wanted to do just because there were so many poly gel colors. I wish I could have used all 32 of them just because they were so beautiful. That would have been a very chaotic nail set though, I will say, because 32 poly gel colors is insane. This kit really includes so many. I don't think I've ever tried a kit that includes more poly gel than 32 colors. I cannot get over that. But I did end up doing a pink Christmas holiday winter nail set. I love it so much. I also had a lot of fun playing around with the dual forms again. Let me know what you guys think about the poly gel videos. Do you want me to do some more playing around with dual forms, trying them out a little bit more? Do you want me to do like half cover nail tip tips or even the Femi Beauty Lazy Girl method? Let me know down below in the comment section. I do really love to do poly gel nails. I feel like I can always get the best look when I am using, of course, a good poly gel. And then it kind of just depends on the day how things go. When I am doing half cover nail tips, I definitely struggle and cannot do um, encapsulating super well or doing ombres that well either. So that is one reason why I always loved the lazy girl method. And now that I figured out that I can do it with dual forms, I also really like using the dual forms. But let me know down below in the comment section, do you guys still enjoy watching poly gel videos? My channel started out with poly gel and then I fell in love with gel x nails or full cover nail tips and doing like gel extensions but I do still really love the whole poly gel nail concept I will say a lot better than acrylic I haven't used acrylic in a hot minute and that is just because of the monomer smell I cannot stand it and I do need a lot of practice with my acrylic that is why I do always prefer gel products just because they have a very low odor to no odor at all but I really loved how these nails turned out I hope that you guys did enjoy watching today's video all of the, well, the kit that I used in today's video will be linked down below in the description box. Don't forget about the huge discounts for Black Friday that Model 1s is going to be having. This kit included, it is going to be on an incredible sale. You're definitely going to want to pick it up. It has 32 colors of poly gel, which should make it sold right away. But definitely, I'll leave those down below in the description box. I really hope that you guys did enjoy today's video, but as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.